Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Nateki Gamer. Welcome back to some more A Link Between Worlds. And last time, we did some side questing stuff, and in today's episode, we're gonna be going to the next dungeon. Because it actually takes a while to get to the next dungeon. And well, welcome to you, Mr. Hero. Actually, today's episode, also, besides getting there, we're actually gonna be buying everything from Ravio. If you can believe it. I am an idiot. Now I've got to grind rupees. Ah, mother hover. Well, I'm an idiot, guys. So you guys get a little bit extra episode, long episode, guys. I feel like an idiot now. Should have grinded like 2,000 rupees. Well, I'll just kill some 20 roofers here. I should get up there soon. Okay, I think I only need to two kill two more of these guys, and then uh, I'll have... Uh, oh, what? They don't respawn? Oh, where's the guy over here? Yeah. One more 20. Um, this got out of hand. I wasn't supposed to be coming to the dark world yet. Poop. Yeah, these guys don't respawn. That's annoying. I'm sorry about this, guys. There we go. Because you need 1,200 rupees to buy a rod. If you guys remember from when we went to go get the Hylian shield. Anyway, now that I have 1,200 rupees, spending all of my rupees, my last couple of rupees, um, we're going to get the final item of the game. Well, the final buyable item, I mean. No, not rent, not rent. I want to buy. Good God, if I would have hit rent, I would have been furious. And with that, guys, my deepest thanks for being the best customer ever. At last, I've sold all my items! Yay for me! Thanks to your efforts, Mr. Hero, I've made a great prof. I mean, I've made a great friend. And there's just one more thing. I'm closing down my shop. I mean, I've sold everything so I can finally retire and live the good life. Whoop, whoop, boopy woo, whoopie doopy doo. I love Ravio, he's awesome. Sorry, I just have to get that out of my system. I think I'm going to kick my feet up in for a while and figure out what I'm going to do next. Anyway, I just got to bow down to you, Mr. Hero. I can't believe that you found so many rupees for me. Now, best of luck out there. Me and Shiro will be rooting for you. <laughs> Alright, guys. And with that, we're going to visit Mother Maya Maya again. Hopefully the next time we'll have all her babies. Or I'll have all her babies for her. But for now, we're only going to be uh, upgrading the fire rod. Not the tornado rod as well. I didn't have the time to collect all the Maya Mayas off screen. So I just went off and got two more Maya Mayas. So we're only going to be upgrading the fire rod for the next dungeon. And trust me, it makes the ice palace so much easier. Hi, 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 hi. Now we have the nice fire rod. So basically, it's a bigger flame that goes farther. My babies are so shy. You might not even see them when you walk by. Okay, anyway. With that, guys. I'm going to use my bell to get over to the Palace of Hera. Tower of Hera. Because that's actually the area you want to be to get to the low rule area. You actually have to go right of the Tower of Hera. And actually, I think before we do the Ice Palace, I'll have to do a bonus uh, episode again. Because there's actually a bonus area over here, but it's on the other side of the mountain. So, <laughs> oh well. For now, we'll just like get the warp spots for the Ice Palace and stuff. But anyway, this is inside Death Mountain. We have a lava, a huge lava pit below us, and 
you don't want to fall down because on top of that falling down actually takes forever so that you can fall down to these platforms you literally fall all the way down until you touch lava although there are some places like there where you'll just instantly hit the bottomless pit of death but then there are some spots where you can actually keep falling down if I remember quickly you wanna god dang it you wanna go right from here yes Rosso's or mine God, I hate these lion things. Yeah, you want to go this way. God, I love the level 3 Master Sword. Yes, this part is tricky because you want to time your falling. Really good to land on these tiles. That was a close one. I almost messed that up. I always mess up this last one, so... Oh, I just got it. Oh, God, stupid keys. And with that, you can take, oh, whoops, you can take this platform to go all the way back to the beginning. But this brings you to the bottom right of Death Mountain. You actually can't, no, can't normally get over here. Um, unless you take that path. In the original game, you can actually, um, if you got the hook shot, you could explore all of the bottom of Death Mountain. Uh, but you need, but you need, uh, the hook shot to get no 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 you need to uh, be able to explore that area but anyway guys we're gonna go into this portal here ah merged link and we're gonna go into low rules death mountain welcome back to low rule kingdom link this is death mountain here it is always winter somewhere buried under the ice is a ruined hall a sage with a soul as formidable as a boulder awaits you for your help there. You must hurry, though his spirit will not last forever with such an accursed ice everywhere. So say I, Hilda of Low Rule. And oh my lord, I love the Death Mountain theme in Low Rule, or the Dark World. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, da, bum, ba. Oh my word, I love this theme to death. Yeah, I have not collected the Maya Mice here because, once again, we haven't actually explored this area in Let's Play. But basically, you want to backtrack. And up where the uh, little uh, minigame area was, that's where the Ice Palace is. Oh, dire fate awaits those who approach the Ice Ruins, not palace, atop the mountain's peak. Yeah, so pretty much we have to recline the freaking mountain from the inside again. Except, this time it's more tricky. We have smaller platforms to be standing on. God, I hate the bats. It's oh, God. I almost got knocked off there. Okay, yeah, we have to merge onto this one. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> now am I on the right side? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna use my shield to walk more precisionly. Oh, I'm also gonna get the fire rod out because we actually need the fire rod to kill these guys. <laughs> oh ye fool who seeks, seeketh the ice ruin traveled north. But yeah, the, 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 basically the nice fire rod, the fire attack is larger and it goes farther. Definitely helps for killing guys with a radius of that big. All right, with that big of a radius, I don't actually don't think I've explored those areas before, but I'm just gonna stick to the uh, normal path because I do want to get to the ice ruins. Oh lord, I hear bats! Oh spikes! Yes, get me off this thing. Four more. Oh boy, get me off so I can get on more. Oh no. I always don't know. I don't know why, but I always hated dodging these things. We'll obviously take advantage of when the platform is lowered and go right under them. But with that, guys, uh, we just skipped all that area. Now we're in the upper part of Death Mountain, where the, actually the Tower of Harrow would be if you go left. But anyway, guys, here is the Ice Palace. So all I wanted to do in this episode was get the weather vane activated so we can fly here. We're actually going to be doing an optional area in the next episode. Which will net us a butt ton of rupees. I wanted to save it for when we would come here. 
But yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And next time, we're going to be going to a really fun optional era. Era. Area. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye.